So here we have our Jeep, all right? And we're gonna set this up on our Jeep, if you guys notice, all right? So we're gonna put it down here um, and just open it up. So you can go either way, just open up either way. Um, it locks in automatically, you see that? I just dropped it down. Once I drop it down, I can just change the combination. I'm doing this one hand, so hold on. And that's it. So it is lock in place, and it's gonna be hard to drive with this thing anywhere, so. All right, so we're gonna have it on a Lincoln Navigator. I'm gonna set it up, all right, we're gonna open it up. So what you need to do is you can do it from the top, all right? It's basic, all right? If you wanna do it the opposite way, you can do that opposite way. And that's how you do it. And then we just start to switch the actual system and it's completely locked. So you could actually, it's gonna hit this corner where they drive it off, all right? All right, today we have a lock for your car. It's an anti-theft lock. Included with it the screwdriver and a punch down hole so you can actually change the actual lock combination We have some hangers here so you can hang your, your lock anywhere You have a couple of accessories that to give you this is to actually break glass Cut your seatbelt and then there's a whistle and this is something you could carry in your in your keychain, too So it's a it's a plus that they give you a uh, pretty good deal with it now We're gonna open it up and we're gonna change a couple of things We're gonna show you how to change the combination on the actual lock because right now it is set to default zero zero If you guys could see the two digits right there. All right, so we remove the screw underneath All right, it's a little cap that comes in there. All right, you remove it uh, I'm gonna put it on the side here uh, they give you the actual screwdriver, a little screwdriver, a little Phillips, all right? And then they give you the actual punch down tool here. And this is to actually change the combination. And the way you're gonna do it, it's basically, right now it's on zero, zero. So we're gonna open it, you open it up halfway, all right? And what you need to do is once you open it up a little bit, you have to get the punch down area and then move it to the right. Um, um, and then once you move it to the right, you can change the combination, all right? Make sure you change it, all right? Let's go move it to the right. All the way to down to the right and now once you do that you go change it to we're gonna do it combination one all right for example right all right so right now as you can see we have it at one all right one's our default so if we go back to default it doesn't go to default right? so one is the name one that we just set up that combination now we're gonna set it back to zeros all right so you got to do the same thing open it up a little bit just keep it open and once you do that you switch this back again all right, back down. Once you get that down, you you put back to zero if you want, and we're all set. We got a default. We're gonna lock it in place, and that's it. That's the zeros is the default right now. And then what you gotta do is move anywhere, and it's locked in. So the system is very simple to use. I like it. Uh, now that uh, a lot of alarms are being bypassed now these days, uh, themes are still getting away with the cars. It's an extra security step that's coming back again. You know, as more crimes are hitting, less convicts are getting less time and they're doing more crimes. So it's a good thing to actually keep in, in mind to maybe have this as an emergency as a weapon and keeping your car too as a security thing too. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.